Okay guys, welcome back to my channel and I will not waste your time. If you are going to buy an iMac used 2019 model i9 with CPU 10.9210, I think this is what you are looking for. I recently got a used CPU from some of my friend. It's the exact same CPU that's on i9. So I built a Hackintosh on this. And right now you're watching me just like general editing. So I can tell you that it runs Logic Pro X very smooth. I also use the 5500 XT CPU, which is equivalent to 575X on the iMac. And roughly the cost of everything in this machine is like CPU, I pay 300 bucks, motherboard, I pay 200 bucks. So it's right now 500 S CPU cooler. I paid $20 and everything roughly rest than less than I think maybe 800 USD for this machine, including a 23, 24 inch normal display, which I had in my home. So if you buy iMac, you'll get 512 gigs for 2300 USD. In my machine, I have two NVMe, one terabyte each. So that's it about the specs. And now let's see. The editing chopping is very okay, very fast, no lags. So buy it guys, it's quite good. Even if you're going to buy iMac, and right now I know the M1 CPU have come to the market. People say it's good. So it must be very good. But if you have something lying around and you want to use Logic Pro X, just check out my video. So you can see that if I chop multiple channels at the same time, it's fine. It runs well. I don't have any problem with it. So now, let's export. Okay, my machine is a uh, dual boot, Windows and OS X. What's not working is the hot plug, and that's it. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't work. So I'm, I'm just okay to switch on my device. Wi-Fi doesn't work, in case you guys are asking. Most of the time I plug in the LAN. The spec is Z490 ASRock. So you can see that Logic is very smart. It can distribute loads to all the cores like my other video that I have tested. And here you go. Almost there. We'll just fast forward. And now I'm fooling around with the logic pro new what do i say new test so 160 system overload cannot run on the i5 we could get only 69 70 tracks so again rule of thumb one core 1.3 to 1.5 tracks depending on your trade also so 144 tracks let's see so our cpu is 10 core in my theory it should run fine with 130 tracks guys please note that that 130 track means heavily plug in on each channel so you can see that we have one sculpture one eq one chorus one auto filter one reverb and one 
one more. I I can't read <laughs> at the moment because now I'm doing a voiceover. So one forty six. Okay, one forty six is fine. So guys, if you have the tenth gen CPU. Or even if 9900K on 8th gen, 9th gen CPU, you are good to run like 140-ish, 130-ish tracks. And now our standard test Geekbench. So you could see all cores running happily and the score is 9694, nearly 10k. Let's compare to my other machines that I have. So my beast machine is 9900X, which uses a lot of power, produce heat. And my 9900K, also the uh, i7 10 gen. This is also very good CPU, they all like running nearly at the same same speed same core so i hope guys you know how this cpu or this imac will perform in my machine i have a better cpu cooler than imac so i don't think there'll be any problem my case is mini itx i'm using fantex air but my motherboard has big heat sinks, so I cannot use like a, a really bigger size heat sinks. I'm using Cryorig C7, which is quite small, but bigger than Intel stock sink. And now is the 5500 XT score. Let's wait and see how much score we get. And the score is 3200. So this is like almost same as 575X in iMac Pro. So we can say that this GPU is quite fine comparing to iMac. But my Beast machine that, that I use to edit my YouTube video has Radeon 7 and it's giving double score 60,700. 41 vega 56 was 53 so okay again guys if you talk about the graphic cards in my opinion vega is a good price if you can find one so those are just like my general score Okay guys, now let's go to next test. Geekbench 4, one of my favorite tests because I've been using this long time and we see big numbers and I guess when you see big numbers, you guys are happy like, like I am. <laughs> so let's see the score. So 41K score, quite high. Actually, it's really high. Let's compare to my other machines. So my 9900X, I scored 48K. My Xeon, my friend Xeon that I borrowed, Hackintosh, 45K, which cost a lot more. 9900k yeah so so roughly i can say it's it's a good cpu for 300 dollars that i found used from some random guy on internet and the final cut test i know you guys must be thinking like how is it how is the video editing so this is some of like maybe my kid's birthday 
So the timeline scrubbing is very okay. You can see the graphic card is working hard. But once you add effects, it becomes choppy. Just like when you pull the sliders like this. So it's it's choppy, it's not very smooth. But I think you guys will get used to it. Thanks.